everyone today we'll be discussing the second practical of iot lab in this practical we have to use a raspberry pi board to sense the temperature of the surroundings and when the temperature goes beyond a threshold value we have to uh, actuate it in some way so we'll turn on the leds in our case so for that you need a raspberry pi board a dht sensor for sensing the temperature and you can also sense humidity using this particular sensor so this sensor has three pins the vcc pin you have to connect it to vcc that is 5 volt power of the raspberry pi so pin number two you can connect it to then ground you can connect it to pin number six of raspberry pi and output so output we can connect to any of the gpio pins so we'll connect it to gpio 4 that is pin number 7 and we need an led for our output so the anode of the led the longer lead we'll connect it to any of the normal gpio pins so we can connect it to gpio 17 pin that is actual pin number 11 and the long uh, the shorter lead we can connect it to any of the grounds that is pin number 9 or 14 any of these so now we'll see the code so in our code firstly we'll have to import the adafruit package adafruit dht package for our sensor and we'll also have to import raspberry pi's GPIO that is general purpose input output package and for our convenience we can uh, define it as GPIO then we have to firstly set up our sensor we have to set up our sensor information so for that I'll use a variable called sensor and this adafruit dht package inside that we will be using dht11 sensor so that's what i'll store in the sensor variable and pin number we were talking about pin number 4 for gpio so after that we have to continuously check the temperature so we have to implement uh, infinite loop so while true we are going to check the temperature and simultaneously we can also check the humidity so add a fruit dht dot there is a function called read retry to read the data from the sensor and we will pass it the sensor information and the pin to which the output pin of the sensor is connected and then after this we have to check if it is beyond the threshold we will turn on the LED so if our temperature is beyond threshold let's say 30 we have to turn on the LED so for that we will have to also set up the LED pin so for setting up the LED we will be using GPIO package so GPIO.set mode This is the mode we have to set whenever we have to uh, bring GPIO pins into use. Then we will set up the pin which we were talking about. A normal GPIO pin. We had chosen pin number 17. So set up GPIO 17 as out. that is actual pin number 11 but uh, we talk in terms of the gpio numbers in the code and now once we sense that the temperature has gone beyond that beyond 30 we output 
pin number 17 we'll output it as high that is turn on the LED or else we'll keep it as low that is whenever the temperature goes below 30 turn off the LED so that's it for this code now I've coded this on my laptop but actually you have to code this on the Raspberry Pi and run it on Raspberry Pi's terminal and then you'll get the required output. So thank you so much for watching.